Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. Today I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, the story is about inspiration. The story is about motivation. The story actually tells you like if a human being wants to do something and is determined to achieve something, then there is nothing called as impossible. And uh, you can scale the limits. And uh, you are the one who is going to set limits on yourself. And you are not giving that authority to anybody in the world to tell you what you need to do and what you do not do. So this story is about uh, a person called uh, Nirmal Purja. Okay, he is from Nepal and he is born in 1983, aged about 38 years. Then uh, he served military and uh, and he served British Army. Uh, with, with the brigade of Gorkhas followed by special boat service special boat service and special forces uh, unit of Royal Navy and uh, he trained himself so well and uh, at one fine day he decided that I'm going to quit my army job and do something for my people back in Nepal and he has been hearing a lot about uh, you know uh, Sherpas and the kind of good work they are doing but the name is not recognized world over whenever people say that it's a Sherpa who helped me but they never named that person so he wanted to do something for them so what he decided to do is that he's absolutely good at everything and uh, he he has a very good mind he's got very good physique and very good uh, fitness levels and uh, he is also capable of understanding the risks involved in uh, in mountaineering and uh, he wants to do this for them and he wants to break a couple of world records so then he decided to climb all the 14 peaks in the world uh, which are about 8000 meters that is about 26,000 feet in record time the person who did earlier he did it in about 16 years and uh, that too without the help of uh, oxygen but he has taken bottled oxygen and he was able to accomplish this in about 6 months and 6 days and uh, he has broken these records he is the fastest ascent of all 14 8,000 mountains with a record time of 6 months and 6 days uh, fastest ascent of Mount Everest Lhotse and Makula so this he was able to accomplish and then the first winter ascent in of K2 K2 is the most difficult mountain to climb okay so he was able to achieve this you know just imagine when we listen stories about people who are like climbing Mount Everest once or twice and you know watching those kind of movies you know it's uh, it's a spine chilling experience for us you know how to survive in those kind of uh, atmosphere and you know how to train your mind and how do you actually carry such kind of weight on you and then climb the mountain with such difficult situation where you are not able to breathe so just thinking about one mount everest summit you know we get like goosebumps and this person went beyond the imagination of anybody and he was able to achieve this feat and he's climbed about 14 mountains which are about 26,000 feet high and he has faced a lot of challenges if you want to go through the complete document it's available on Netflix you can watch this it's a it's a spine chilling uh, you know documentary and definitely it's going to motivate you and now why am I telling about this guy to you and what does trading has to do with this but you know, trading in a way is also like a very complicated and very difficult task to achieve and it's all about the mind in trading technical analysis you learn fundamental analysis you learn but if you do not control your mind and do not be consistent with your psychology then you're not going to make success in trading and that's that's the reason you need to become an expert you know whether it is trading or anything you want to do in life you have to pick up what is your passion and become an expert in that and then the money will start flowing to you so this is the kind of uh, you know story I wanted to tell you and you know maybe inspire you on a Sunday uh, so that you can do something different in your life and achieve uh, your uh, goals uh, in, a, in a structured way and uh, never give up that's what I want to say so without wasting further time let's get started with our analysis so let's look at nifty first nifty on a daily time frame uh, we are you know still in a very uh, 
bearish trend because this is the previous peak and then we had a lower peak and now we are uh, if if this forms a new peak which is breaking the high of this peak this is on a daily candle uh, 18000 mark has to be crossed if we have to continue going up further so if you see this is more of a you know kind of a channel for us and this is uh, pretty so this has to either break this side or if it faces rejection at this level then it can come down to the next line so it is mostly in a sideways pattern okay so this is on a daily time frame let's look at this on a one minute sorry one hour chart one hour chart looks very positive look at the volume here it's mostly dominated by buying you can see a lot of buying happened here and the market moved up and if you look at uh, you know uh, especially on the friday friday the market was mostly in the range uh, from this this was a range where market was consolidating for longer period of time after it opened up it came into this range and it was in this range only and later suddenly at about uh, 115 started moving up and again it was consolidating against at 3 o'clock it moved up sharp okay so this this shows very positive and uh, it has closed at the top at the high of the day which is very positive for us so there can be a gap up for sure we do not know looking at the global condition so let's look at the global conditions also how are things uh, in the international market so if you go to money control global indices you will be able to see that nasdaq is about uh, 40 points positive close and uh, if you see most of the markets european markets asian markets uh, asian markets are like uh, mixed not bullish not bearish but yes european markets are positive us markets are positive and uh, how much of uh, fi's bought is about 1900 crores which is uh, decent for us to understand it's the first day of the series first april and uh, they were buying so it's a good sign for us so mostly i expect the market to move up from here so that's about nifty now coming to bank nifty bank nifty on a daily time frame let's look at the future future chart has the volume which will also help us understand better so futures volume is also decent uh, but uh, comparatively uh, if I remove all these drawings, let's remove this. So, Bank Nifty is at a very uh, close to its 200 uh, period moving average. And it has cleared the high of this so it's a very positive sign with volume and uh, yes we can accept some uh, you know expect positive up, up move from here and it can go up from uh, till the next zone which we need to map at a one hour time frame let's see what levels we can map so it's actually closing this gap which is 37300 and next level would be this one and level above it okay so these are the levels which we have which we can see in the coming days so you can see this is a level where we are expecting if the market gaps up and enters into this zone there can be a slight rejection where you can uh, you know uh, look for buying if it comes down from there and next hurdle is about 39000 which we need to uh, carefully watch there's one more level here so there's a lot of resistance from 38000 till 39848 so there will be a lot of difficulty and something exceptional will happen or exceptional volume comes then only it can break this level otherwise it can consolidate at this level up down up down up down for quite some time and then give a good breakout 
so this is about uh, nifty and bank nifty and uh, let's look at which are the stocks we can buy for this week so there are some interesting stocks which have come up So as the market moved up, there are many stocks which will appear to be good for investment, but we need to scan. Nifty is also appearing in the list. Bharti, Airtel and Infosys are the two companies which I think, let's analyze all of this. Let's analyze uh, Bharti is there in the list added. So first let's go to Bharti. Bharti on a weekly time frame I would like to see whether it has given an entry. Yes, it has broken the super trend here. So we have a super trend entry coming here so this is first criteria met second criteria 200 period is met 20 period is met so price is about 20 about 200 uh, but there is a gap here uh, which is also a cause of concern that uh, you know it can go a little higher form a new high and then start coming down till the super trend and then take support by that time this 200 will also come till here and then again it will start moving up so this can happen so buy this in chunks uh, if you are investing invest 25 percent here okay then wait then if it comes till here then invest 25 percent and when it takes the high of this candle then invest 25 percent and when again this high is broken invest 25 percent so you're not going all in 100% at one time your price will be better averaged at this way and then you can feel the upside from here okay so now coming to the next stock which is uh, which is which is which is Infosys yes let's look at Infosys Infosys has been performing fantastic from 663 levels to about 1900 levels and this was a good spot where it consolidated was a very good uh, you know buying opportunity now it's again giving an opportunity for us to break so both the charts are in a similar formation away from 2200 period moving average uh, but yes the volumes are a concern here volumes are not that big uh, but Infos is a good company to hold. Maybe you can give a try, invest 25% here and uh, wait for a couple of weeks to see what happens. With a strict stop loss about uh, you know 1700, this will be your stop loss. Your super trend is always your stop loss. If it breaks the super trend, please exit the trade and find some other new trade. So for all of you who are coming for the first time, your entry is at this point which is you can invest 25% of the capital and then your super trend is this one this point okay which is about 1703 okay so this point you have to ensure that you have to keep the stop loss and see this is what you need to trail your stop loss will always be this line now it has already given an entry so whenever the price breaks this you exit the trade similarly so this will also start following the price upside like this i hope that's clear so let's go to other stocks let's look at the bandhan bank i'm not suggesting this is a new bank a lot of risky bajaj finance is a good name tata consumer products is a good name tata chemicals is a good name. so let's analyze these three Bajaj Finance should be there in my list. Bajaj Finance Futures I have. Provided Bajaj Finance and then Tata Consumers Product. And then we have uh, Tata Chemicals. Okay, 
let's look at Bajaj Finance chart pattern. So it's continuously forming lower highs, lower high. So this is also a good formation and this is our entry point. So it's perfect entry for us. You can take a bet on this and invest 25% here. And if you find an opportunity where it comes down, definitely you can add more. So this is your stop loss. Okay, 6124. That should be a stop loss. So this is also satisfying the condition of prices above 200, about 20 period moving average super trend also giving an entry. So three conditions are met. Volume is low, which is a cause of concern. So that's the reason we are investing 25%. Okay, so now let's go to the stock of Tata Consumers. Tata Consumer looks pretty strong to me uh, because this is a good sign. And again, a red bar taken out by a green bar. This is also a good sign. Okay. And again, this satisfies the condition. So you can go long here. Volumes are also slightly increasing. MACD is also giving an entry which is a good sign okay so Tata consumers is looking very positive then Tata chemicals Tata chemicals also they have all started performing from October 2020 and uh, you know, they're taking good support here at these levels and always forming lower highs so this is also a good entry same logic apply 25% and then wait if it comes to super trend then add if it breaks the super trend exit okay entry stop loss your entry your stop loss is this if it channel closes below this you exit okay so this is what you need to invest so we have got our uh, our stocks for this week which are uh, Bajaj Finance, Tata Chemicals, Tata Consumers, and Bharti and Infosys. So these are the stocks which I would want you to look at, these ones. And of course, Bajaj Finance is missed out, so we need to look at Bajaj Finance. Uh, yes, this one. It's a pretty expensive stock, 7400, similar kind of a pattern, there is no difference here. So you can definitely go for this. Okay, so that's it guys, that's it for this week. And uh, my only suggestion is, if you are wanting to pursue and learn trading, please do not give up and do not get limited by what people tell you and uh, about the markets or about your own because they are just trying to define you, what you can do or what you cannot do so don't be dependent on others to tell you what you need to do and what you need not do be confident in what you're doing and if you become an expert at something in your life then money will start flowing from all this so don't chase money chase the expertise and become an expert at one thing and only then success will come to your feet so that's it for this week guys thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe i see a lot of people are not subscribed to my channel but still watching it which i appreciate but please do subscribe so that you don't miss on any notification which i share thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend